Kate Chaplinski for the HAN Network, and February is National Eating Disorder Awareness Month, and we're at Silver Hill Hospital in New Canaan talking with experts on a number of pertinent topics around eating disorders and treatment. And today I'm joined by Brianne Farmsworth, who is a registered dietitian and the clinical nutrition manager at Silver Hill. Brianne, so happy to have you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, so let's talk about eating disorders and nutrition, because unlike other addictions, people can't avoid food. So what role does a dietitian play in diagnosis and treatment? So the dietitian is a part of the whole treatment team, and the main role for the dietitian is to meet with a client, to um, be able to assess their past eating behaviors, um, their eating disorder behaviors, and to come up with a meal plan and um, a treatment plan with the other um, disciplines that the person can follow to healthy, hopefully bring them back to a healthy place of food and exercise. Now, what is a nutrition assessment? So nutrition assessment is pretty thorough in that we take a history of the patient's or client's past eating behaviors, their weight history, their current BMI, percent body weight, what their eating patterns were in the past, when the eating disorder began, um, any pertinent information around who prepares the food, who buys the food, um, some of those more um, you know, day-to-day -day type things to make sure that they're able to be more successful in the treatment with the eating disorder. Now, what might a healing menu look like for someone getting treatment for an eating disorder? So typically, it's all about moderation and learning how to accept all foods fit. So to heal from the eating disorder, they have to have a decreased fear around food. So firstly, it would be a balance between making sure there's proteins, healthy carbohydrates, fats, fruits and vegetables, all the components are there with all the different food groups. So their body can heal and also emotionally they can start to heal. A big part of it too is learning how to accept foods that are been, have been fear foods in the past mm. as not fearful anymore. So exposure to some food items that may have caused anxiety or bad experiences in the past, like think desserts or chips or things that may have been difficult for them. And now let's talk superfoods and supplements. Do those play a role in treatment? Well, as a dietitian, all foods are super to me. Um, <laughs> and they like always that. can play, a, a, every food can fit. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of superfoods that the media or you know diet industries and things out there that kind of put out there superfoods, it would be things like fruits and vegetables, things that kind of get like in the limelight for a bit. Those things can be worked in, but we don't want to emphasize that those are the most important things. Because again, broccoli is great, but it's also a piece of the whole eating. Um, so they do get worked in, but as part of the whole eating plan. As for supplements, um, it's more about an individual basis. So depending on the eating disorder behaviors um, that the person came with, um, but we like to base that on lab values. So if somebody comes in and we know that they haven't been eating well and the labs show they're low in iron, so things we might supplement with are like iron, calcium, B vitamins, but it's a very individual and lab based. And now how can kind of having a nutrition plan empower a patient or someone out of treatment? So a lot of people who have eating disorders feel that they are in control by having the eating disorder when in fact it's controlling them. So for them to release that, that really tense control over food and follow a pattern of eating that's very um, kind of more regimented and um, consistent actually makes them feel better both physically and emotionally, therefore they don't have this feeling that the food's controlling them and their emotions are controlling them. So it's very important to follow that so that they can get back to mental and healthful health, like feel mentally and physically well. Right, well, Brian, this is a really interesting topic. Thank you so much for talking with us You're today. Very welcome, thank you. All right, well, if you wanna find out more about our partnership with Silver Hill Hospital this month, you can visit our website, han.network.